What's going on YouTube? Dave back again and today guess what? It's Tip Tuesday and we're going to be taking a look at some uses for metal primer on your minis. I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure and click that subscribe button because I've got lots of cool stuff coming up for you. Now this isn't just for minis. I suggest using it for your photo etch, whether it be for your gunpla, whether it be for your military kits, anything like that. Now I have two containers here. These are Mr. Hobby, Mr. Metal primers. I'm pretty sure there are other companies that make these, but these work so well for me. This one's still sealed up, but I've got one that's partially used over there. I use this one if in the aerosol can, if I'm doing a lot at one time, it's just easier just to spray them and get going. But if you're just doing a few at a time, I suggest picking up one of these. You can pick them up on Amazon. Links will be down in the description. eBay, some local hobby stores will have these, not all. This will actually go a lot longer for you than using the aerosol can. Generally, if you're using the aerosol can, you know, you're doing one, two passes on the front side, one, two passes on the back side, and you're done. And a lot of that just, well, turns into aerosol and gets wasted. Where with this, you're brushing it on. Now, the nice thing about this is it's much like the Mr. Leveling or Mr. Primer, Mr. Surfacer. And this is uh, about, uh, I don't know what the grade would be considered as far as primer, but it is self-leveling. Now, one of the nice things, this is just loosely pinned into this base. This is the Wanderer from P3 uh, from the Grimkin series. And uh, I really like this. I need to make some modifications to it, but I got him all together and you'll notice that there's a sheen all over him and this one's already been primed. So uh, anyone that has gotten one of these or gotten a mini in general, you'll notice that there's a texture. And when I mean texture, you'll notice like on her, there's a texture all over the skin and you can't really get rid of that. And when you prime it, it's going to end up showing up. So besides using the Mr. Metal primer for getting this ready for a regular primer over the top. What it does is in the automotive standards, it is a metal etcher. So I wouldn't suggest getting this on your skin. It is a lacquer based, um, but it does etch into the metal and it gives a surface for your regular primer to stick to. You do still have to prime, but what this does is it actually fills in a lot of those gaps and details. Of course, you're seeing some of it right now, um, because well it is clear now I do suggest definitely once you get that done let it sit for a good 24 hours on a shelf don't mess with it it is a lacquer so it will dry quickly but give it a good 24 hours to cure it takes a little bit longer from my findings than a regular metal primer he's got a, a little character that goes with him she's been painted for several years and I actually think I'm going to repaint her but so this is what it's going to end up looking like once you end up priming it with a regular primer. Now this has been hit with uh, Mr. Surfacer and like 1000. That's generally what I end up using. So yeah, it, it turns out really good. Uh, you don't get any scratch off. It, it's not going to come flaking off like if you didn't end up using any primer or if you just used a regular primer. The bad thing with the metal is, you know, some primers just don't stick that well and over the years especially if it gets heated up things like that they will just end up flaking off this actually goes to the bombardier bombshell it is an exclusive from uh, privateer press it's all usually only during uh, depticon or something like that i ended up picking this up a couple years ago i haven't actually done anything with it until the other day and i finally got it pinned and magnetized um, she is just a small part of it it's just not holding together it's so big uh it's on a war jack so i can't flip it around like this but we're going to use her for demonstration today now i do suggest that this is just a cheaper brush that i ended up picking up at michael's uh, i use these for just general wear and tear it's not one of my good brushes what you want to do just get a good amount you don't want to super soak it and just start brushing it on i usually suggest brush it on from the top down that way, if there's anything settling into the recesses, it's pulling and you're not going back over everything. Now, you don't have to slather it on a super thick, just a, a nice coating where you see almost like a glossy finish all over everything. And I want to make sure and get plenty on the face right there because because her face has a lot of texture and I want to wipe that out with the primer and smooth it out so it looks halfway decent once it's all painted. 
So as you can see up close, you know, you can see the texture, but once it's all dry and everything and we prime it, that's actually going to be smoothed out thanks to the metal primer. So like I said, once you're all done, just wash out your brush in a lacquer thinner. Uh, easy peasy cleanup on that. Nothing to worry about. I hope this helped you out. Like I said, this can be used on brass. It can be used on tin. It can be used on aluminum. It can be used on pewter. It can be used on lead. It can be used on any type of metal. And I do suggest doing it on any of your metal work that you're adding on especially with uh, the plastic kits because you don't want to be priming something and your paint to peel off at some point and ruin your paint job, especially if you've spent a lot of time on it. It is economical. I think it's like $7 for a bottle of this and usually they charge about eight, $9 for a can. Like I said, I would just suggest going with this. There will be links to both down in the bottom if you choose to try it out. I like it. I've used some other primers from like the hardware store that is a metal primer and it just ends up being too gritty and especially on something small detail like this, it just wipes out the detail and you don't want that. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and click that like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I appreciate it very much. Until next time, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.